finally. So yeah, both these uh, both these characters on the blue team, well, mostly Lucina, I feel like he's going to give Lucas and Inkling a hard time, and I feel like Lucina is going to be the one to take the kills, while DDD is going to be like the stock tank or the one holding out yeah. a lot. And, you know, I actually like that combination, you know. Lucina, very good at getting these early kills, right? Get damage, and DDD just doesn't lose stocks. You know, he's going to be throwing out these quarters, and if he's able to position them so he's not messing with Jerry's combos, then it's going to be a real problem. Oh, S, S smashing the, the quarter from behind. That's, that's yeah, I new. I like the play there. The Nair going to just force both Lux and Yonki off stage. Lucina's stuck in the middle of two enemies here, but... Oh, that was really cute. Yeah, that was real scary right there. All right, there's the back throw for the Inkling. He's going off to Edgeguard, but high recovery from DD. He just gets grabbed again. Uh, Inkling Ruha not going to go on, on them right now. All right, now they have Inkling off stage, Lucina and DD on both sides of this. Lucas, he is off stage. He's not going to lose his stock quite yet. Oh, there's finding the very Oh, that, that was really... Charge. Wait! He killed his teammate, but not the Lucina. Yeah, it was really interesting. The Lucas actually did the down air on him, and when Lucina got out, it was kind of in, like, not the bounce animation, so he's still able to get an F smash. But not going to kill. But DDD still losing his stock there. Yeah, surprisingly, DDD actually the first one to lose his stock from this blue team. Well, that's kind of the opposite of what we were saying we expected. All right, there's the up throw. Looking for the up throw. Up throw combo, not going to find it, though. I like the monkey's idea to try to up up there to... Get, get him out of there, but I don't think it would have done anything. But it was a cute idea. Yeah, definitely just the I'm up here too, so don't bother. Back though from Lucas is going to be the stock, but a quick forward smash from the deity. Gonna answer it right back. We're down to two stocks at least. Yeah, we're all even here. Uh, Jerry not going to go over to save his teammate uh, from getting grabbed right there. Just going to continue to edge guard, ledge guard the Lucas, and that's going to be a really good idea. The more you can keep another teammate out of uh, commission and just go over and help your other teammate, it, the better it's going to be. Yeah, all right, double Nair into the forward air. Big combo. These projectiles from Lucas are really starting to become a problem for the blue team, though. There's the wow, up big charge. Another up smash good just keep Lucina in the air. Right now, the red team starting to really pull ahead here. Blue team's going to have to find a way to get a stock off of this... Lucas as fast as possible. That forward smash is almost going to break the shield, but it's not going to quite yet. Right, right now, it is not looking like a good idea to go try to uh, take take the take the advantage onto the Lucas. I feel like you just need to start uh, comboing the Inkling because Lucas is just standing back and he's throwing out a lot of things, and it's not it's not worth to go and attack him right now. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of forward smashes from Deity in this game. He was really trying to find one. If you saw a hundred, one of them saw a connect, right? I mean, but one of them hasn't connected though. It's not 100 yet, though. Fair. I mean, you don't even need to kill him with that smash. Ooh, the DI is not looking... Oh, never mind. Yeah. I, there's the... Oh! Oh! oh the the get, ice combos from Dedede! He was getting thrown! Oh, that's the shield break! That's gonna be it. Right now, we've seen it in a 2v1, but getting the shield break, a big charge coming in. I Unfortunately, mean, the PK fire not actually going to save him there. Yeah, but Lucina is in the 2v1 now against the Inkling and the Lucas. This is going to be really difficult. Oh, I oh. like the <laughs> like the magnet combos. Going to come in for the punish, just a fair. Yeah, quick fair punishes the dancing blade. Back though looks to try and combo, but instead, you know, Lucas will look at heal off of that inspire bomb. It's not looking like Luke and Luffy have really any team combos uh, coming in. It, they're just kind of playing around and going through each other. You see they're running into each other a lot, not really positioning themselves to get these team combos. And hitting them with the PK fire. Four throw? Okay, actually going to mash out. I actually like that. He went for the jab release, followed up with an up air, but not going to quite fight. This is the edge guard for the inkling with the back air, and that's going to be a pretty solid 2v1 for the, blue, or for the red team, rather. Oh, wait, someone's standing up, bro. He, he's getting ready. It's heating up in here. He says, oh, I got to take off my jacket. My deity forward smashers weren't connecting. Hold up, let me take off the training weights. Now they'll start hitting. So, pretty good game coming in from Luke and Luff. They were doing a really good job of just staying back and making them, uh, making the blue team approach them. Luke was throwing out a lot of PK freezes, a lot of PK fires, just that disrupting thing. And that's what DDD wanted to do, too, but he just wasn't able to get that. He committed to a couple too many forward smashes, not really just trying to get the Gordos out and having that Having that presence that uh, DDD can have when he's not being checked. Yeah, but, you know, great stuff from the red team going to just get it all, or get that first game. Blue team, though, wasn't too far behind. It was one stock apiece on the end. 
So if they can find a way to just seal out some of these stocks a bit earlier, less commit with the committal with the forward smash and stuff, then we'll see you know, a little bit better. But instead, Cherry actually just switch off of the Lucina to the Donkey Kong. Interesting. Now we got two big heavies. So this might be a problem just because both Lucas and Inkling are combo characters. Yeah, they get a lot of damage onto the heavy guys off the straight hits. But I do like the switch to battlefield right here. You get a lot of platforms to get away from your opponent, and then you have a really good idea of uh, ledge trapping. Right. right now, both members of the blue team just getting constantly pressured, not able to even play against well, Love is not letting him play the oh game! Oh my god, he just carried him off the side! I, I'm not sure if the DI was too good on that, but you know what? Love's, Love's wasting no time. He's got, he's got more winners matches to play. The way the red team is playing right now, they're not messing around. Yeah, no, they're, they're here for business. You know, they're here saying, I'm just going to get my quick up, move on. I got more else to hand out than just this one today. But you know what? I'm not going to uh, count out ra uh, Ch Raging Cherry and uh, Yonti. Yeah, definitely not out quite yet, but it is a rough start for them. They'll have to make some sort of play and come back. Ooh, unfortunately, d d going to hit his teammate oh. in a dunk. Coming in, red team is up two whole stocks right now. Both at the red percent, about 80. So a hard read with a smash deck like that would have been able to take yeah. it. And that was actually really great pressure, but just a bit this timing duty, not gonna find that boat smash. Yeah, right now I'm really liking what Luke is doing. He's just running back and forth, PK firing, PK freezing. He doesn't have to do anything. The I fact that Lucas will get so much damage in, and then waiting for Inkling to just finish it off with all of his back and the things he's been hitting is really good. I bit him this play right there, hitting his teammate with the splat bomb, but D D D also hitting Donkey Kong with the quarter, so all evens out. And now D D's got them both on the on the ropes there with his ledge trapping. Yeah, and in this situation, it's actually looking kind of dire for the red team. They got find a way off. Buff's actually going to forfeit his stock to come down, get back on center stage, and punish. Yonki get that forward smash. Yeah, red team still winning by a decent amount. Lucas has not lost a stock yet. Yeah, he's sitting at 160, but they haven't been able to find any sort of kill option. Oh, and a bit of healing coming in. I like how they're focusing more on the Inkling, since Lucas is being kind of just a no- Shoot him! Shoot him right in the face. I love it. <laughs> oh, he grabbed it! Okay, that was a nice combo from, from, the, uh, from the blue team there. You know, they got so much damage, and all of a sudden they're making moves. They are they're the winning. Lead. Ah, but that's it. Oh, oh no, he love. He's not going to go off the side, but that... Still going to get shot. Okay, but this is actually an even game for what started so well for the red team. The blue team is making the comeback now. Yeah, they just decided to focus on the Inkling, and they got so much damage. And if you just kill Inkling enough time, he's going to take Luke's to stock, which is also just keeping him in check. But still, blue team at really red percent. They're going to need to... They're going to need a really good uh, play right now to bring this all the way back. Oh, this might be it, though. No punishment. Donkey Kong actually hitting them out so we can't get the forward smash onto the deity. Okay, the big Nair. Yep, Nair coming in. Right now both both teams at red percentage. The up throw not gonna kill from Lucas yet. Oh he Ooh, nice dash attack. Dash track into the Guardo. Raging Cherry actually keeping both players in check on the red team here, but these Guardos aren't doing oh, a big face. clap! He's straight off the top to the PK fire and the forward smash. Right now Lucas has 2v1, but honestly one PK freeze will win. Oh it's he heard he's going for it. Yeah, right now, Lucas has to make sure he, he can just jump around both these characters. He knows he just needs that one hit from both Ooh, of them. Back air is not going to kill them. Wait, air dodge though, going to keep himself alive. Is he going to go off for it? No, oh, no. unfortunate angle, angle coming in. Yeah, so blue team going to bring that back. They had some really good plays in the end. They were just focusing on the Inkling. And eventually, Inkling's going to die enough to where, I mean, Lucas, those stocks are looking mighty nice. That, yeah, th those look like my stocks. I started the game with four. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that stock about. wasn't yours to begin with, so... Yeah, now we got a game three situation. Yeah, and you know, great adjustment from the blue team there. You know, they start off getting just comboed and comboed and comboed, and they couldn't do anything, and all of a sudden, they just brought it back, got the hits they needed, and then they won the game. Yeah, Battlefield ended up being a really good pick for them, so I'm curious about what uh, game three is going to be on. Yeah, I, I like PS2 pick, you know. It seemed like the platforms were really advantageous towards the blue team. Uh, so, t you know, they probably banned out, like, FD, banned out uh, Pokemon, or not Pokemon, uh, Kalos. Uh, and then they said, you gotta take us somewhere where we can move around with these platforms. And I like the Pokemon Sam 2 pick, though, for the red team. You know, it does have these two platforms, but they're kind of small, they're spread out, there's a lot of open space to trap on the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of open space for the Lukes to, again, stand back and just not play the game. 
I Jungle's right now swatting the fly with the dodge. We're going for the down throw jab, but unfortunately a little too high percent for that to actually confirm. Ooh, PK Free sitting in the Gordo back, but I'm pretty sure he wanted to wanted to shoot him. I do like how the DDD is starting to read Lucas doing these PK fires and putting out the uh, the neutral B. That will eat up projectiles and shoot it back, and it's oh. big back air. Yeah, speaking of back the back air right there, just gonna get rid of Dr. Dog's first stop. I have a couple of from DDD, gonna just get some damage on to me. Oh wow, Lucas actually not getting hit by the uh, by DDD's up B. It really feels like DDD's going high almost every single time, looking to try and get the straight hit to kill onto one of these opponents. And they're really not doing much to punish I'd like to see something. That was interesting. Did you see what happened when oh. a. Oh, big punch. Uh, the Lucas PK freeze, DDD put out the uh, neutral B. And he ate it, but he didn't. Nothing happened. Yeah, there are some projectiles where he can't reflect it, but he just kind of swallows it. Yeah, it, it just kind of put him in a bit of lag, so that's going to be. I didn't know how that interaction was going to go. Oh, I like the high recovery there from Cherry. He saw the downer start up and decided just to go into Lux with it. Oh, Anki had that read with that F smash, but just waiting a little too long for the Inkling. He got rolled out of it. Oh, there's some show damage with the back throw going to connect. Still, red team looking uh, really good right now at low percents, but we've seen them at low percents and still uh, clutch out a win before. So yeah. anything's possible right now. This is even. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't count out this blue team yet. Who tries to get a big read with the F, uh, the up smash. Both of them going out oh. for it. Okay, I, I like that, you know, he was able to hold it for so long that Cherry was able to stay alive there. Definitely looked like that was almost a stop. Oh, oh, right now, uh, Inkling out of ink. He needs to go retreat right now, but as long as they keep putting this pressure on he's on the Inkling, to, he's not going to be able no to do time. anything. Yeah, Gunnar just moves the stock. Now he does have his ink back. There we go. That was the play. He actually wanted to die. And wow. Donkey Kong got thrown around. He got PK freeze, Gordo, fared, everything. He got the works. Yeah, so he is out of here. But he is on his last stock now. Luke, the only one sitting here with two stocks. But if they're able to find that kill with the Whoa. Hot that was just the the bare percentages it needed to kill. So everyone on one stock right now. I can see this going any direction. As long as the red team can, or blue team can avoid getting rollers. Oh. But big shield break. Lucas needs to go over right now. I need so that just kill? He does get the fully charged forward smash. Goes for another shield break. Bro, these guys are crazy. They're out here trying to end their careers. Yeah, you know what? Start off so strong again. Blue team able to just keep the composure. Shoot Goes him. Donkey Kong at him. Bro, they got these plays ready. They knew what was happening. So I think they're gonna let the Donkey Kong go and in, punch him. Punch. Bro, you can't do that. that. That's not that's not nice. He goes for another punch. I just gonna keep him trapped at the ledge here. I do like that the Donkey Kong is going in. I feel like DDD just staying back is good enough. He has the Gordo to just throw on the pressure and avoid Lucas if he goes high. But they don't have to approach. They don't have to do anything right now. They have four minutes. They can do whatever they want. Yeah, and I think this really just shows, you know, how much experience the blue team has. You know, they Legend Cherry been around for a long time. I'm not familiar with Donkey, but you know, if I had to guess he was probably around the same, but you know, when you have all this experience, you know you don't have to rush it. Okay, Lucas going for a big back air. That was the play you needed to make. You waited a little too long, but roll gonna get caught by that. Roll yeah. notoriously bad in this game because your iframes run out so quickly, so a lot of moves that will catch a neutral get up will most of the time catch your roll too. So the uh, that was really good. Yeah.